Hello and welcome. We are back. This is Mustang Game Day. My name is Gabe Arditti. And I'm Sophia Sylvia. We are so excited to be here tonight on the biggest night for collegiate men's soccer here for Cal Poly versus UC Santa Barbara. It's so exciting to be back in. So exciting to be back. I've been personally waiting for this day for at least two years, maybe a little more. And emphasis on the biggest game of the, of the year. This is truly going to be one to remember. For sure. I'm super excited, Gabe. Now, so before we get too excited, let's unpack a little bit what has happened from the last game. Okay, you're right, Sophia. I got a little ahead of myself. Let's take a step back. Back on Wednesday, this same men's team that you're about to see take the field took on Cal State Fullerton, where they had a 2-0 victory. Now, this was a big game because they were coming off their first loss in Big West Conference play. This back, bounce back win for the Mustangs was huge. And while Fullerton may have had twice as many shots, Cal Poly had twice as many saves in the game, which was the difference. Yeah, now we know all of this by reading the stats. Of course. But we can get it from the man of the hour. We're here with Coach Steve Sampson. How are you today, Steve? Great, guys. Thanks for uh, having me out. Yeah, thank you so much for being here with us today. Now, we know the team is near the top of the Big West standings right now. What do you think has helped you all to get to this point so far? Well, to be honest, it's really the, uh, the senior leadership that we've had right down the, the spine of the team, whether it be Carlos Arce or Andrew Forth or Josh Graham or Neil Boyle or Manny Perez, those guys right down the middle of the park, all uh, tremendous uh, leaders. And really, it's their desire to have such a great year this year and their leadership both on and off the field that has allowed us to, to get to this point, uh, to where we're playing for this game tonight for first place. Now you've played some relatively tough non-conference opponents early on in the season. How did that help you and your team get to this Big West play? Yeah, one of the things that I wanted to do for this year was to provide this senior-laden team with very good opposition going into conference to help us prepare. And whether it was GCU or whether it was LMU or whether it was St. Mary's, we played all those teams tough and either beat them or tie them or lost in overtime. And one of the things that has been consistent throughout is the quality of our defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very, very, it's very, very difficult to score against Cal Poly. And it's going to be very important for us to continue that tonight. Right. We were talking about that earlier because I know when I spoke to you earlier in this week, you were saying how your main objective for this game is to be the aggressor. But obviously, um, in your last three victories, it's all been with zero goals scored against you. So how do you combine those two play styles coming into tonight's game? Well, a lot of it is attitude. And I think this group of men uh, really want to go out and be the aggressor and force them to play on what we call their back foot, um, force them to play on their heels and to run at them as opposed to them running at us. When we talk about the individual battles on the field where they have to win all of those individual battles and then collectively it sets the tone and it sets an attitude. And tonight I think it's really important for all these fans, 11, 12,000 fans, that we show them that we're going to be the one that wants to go after the win tonight. Totally. So, Coach, first uh, first home blue-green rivalry game in two years, and Cal Poly's already called it a mega event, and it's confirmed it's a sellout. What type of crowd interaction, what does that do for your team when you're out there? Well, first of all, we're just so very happy to have a game, mm. to have a season. Mm. We were one of two conferences in the country that were not allowed to have a spring season. Mm. And so, all the teams in the conference literally use the preseason um, to get their timing down where all the other conferences, especially in the West, were able to do so in the springtime. Mm -hmm. So for us, uh, I think we're now starting to peak at the right time. I think this fan base tonight uh, is going to be massive for our ability to compete against a very good Santa Barbara team. I mean, right. they're, they're doing quite well. They have a number of different players that can attack from a no number of different areas and get behind us and, and we have to win those individual battles but I think the 12th man tonight is going to be these fans and I know that whether it's the students or the general community they rally around this team and this event and it literally is the biggest event of the, of the year. I couldn't agree more coach everybody is antsy including us so we want to thank you for your time thank you for sitting down with us make sure you stay with us we have much more ahead for you including an interview with uh, coach's partner in crime and some great uh, key player packages for you i'll see you after the break